Good evening. I'm Jody Brazi, the principal at Catalina Foothills High School. We welcome you and thank you for coming to the class of 2023 graduation ceremony. We have We have planned a formal ceremony and we appreciate your support in making this a special evening for us. Will you please stand and welcome the graduates and remain standing for the Star Spangled Banner.
again, welcome. I want to make a few introductions of our dignitaries present here on the stage. They include Dr. Mary Camerzell, our superintendent, Dr. Mary Jo Connery, associate superintendent, Dr. Chad Knippen, assistant superintendent, Cheryl Castro, director of curriculum and assessment, Aaron Matajasic, special services directors, and our other CFSD administrators, our governing board president, Ms. Eileen Jackson, vice president, President, Ms. Amy Krause, board members, Amy Bola, Mr. Doug Hadley, and Ms. Gina Maynott. Our administrative team, Ms. Jennifer Miller, who planned tonight's graduation and has supported your seniors this year. Mr. Chris Lambert, Mr. Eric Singer, Mr. Ryan Tulsevic, and Ms. Carrie Burson. Our faculty readers, who the seniors have selected, our teachers, Mr. Nick Bouchard and Mr. Kevin Duong. Thank you very much and enjoy your evening. Good evening, all family, friends, faculty, and staff. My name is Spencer Chan, this year's student body president. I first want to thank you all for attending tonight to celebrate this milestone in our careers. Typically, the student body president often talks about entering into the real world and leaving your mark. However, tonight, I decided to talk about something a little bit different, and I hope you can take away something from this to add to your life. Dear class of 2023, for just five seconds, push pause in your life. Look around, smile, and just soak this moment in. I believe there are three things you can do to make your life a little easier and more enjoyable for yourself, and the best part is it requires little to no effort. First is having gratitude and how important it is we incorporate it into our lives. It's a positive emotion that focuses on what's going right for us and appreciating the things we have. It's pausing to notice and appreciating the things we often take for granted. Our health, family, friends, having a roof over our head, and even this beautiful sunset we have this evening. We all come from different backgrounds, religions, and experiences that make us unique, but we all can show gratitude. As overwhelmed individuals on a day-to-day -day basis, we never realize what we have until it's gone. So love your family, love your friends, love what you have, but before anything else, love who you are as a person. Second, try and take every opportunity that comes your way by taking risks and getting out of your comfort zone and embracing change. Opportunity passes us every single day of our lives and the decision for you to grab it is completely up to you. It comes in all forms. To go up to that person, join a club, apply for an internship, or travel the world. However, once an opportunity is passed, it's impossible to go back in time. By taking opportunity, you're allowing yourself to experience the feeling of success, joy, satisfaction, but at the same time equally face rejection, failure, change, and above all, personal growth. Arguably, some of the best words of wisdom I've come across in my life is from a man we all know by the name of Denzel Washington. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. I'll say it again. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. If it doesn't work out, keep trying. But by all means, do not skip out on potential and miss out on memories waiting for you to create. Because every day you wake up is an opportunity to grow as a person. And third, this applies to every aspect of life, and it's to find positives even in negative situations. Whether it's injury, relationships, or getting denied from your dream school, the ball is always in your court, and you choose how it affects you. Never forget that. As I close out, I would like to finish with a quote from a man who's truly shifted my perspective in finding the positive in the negative things occurring in our life. Inky Johnson was a former collegiate football player who's projected to go to the NFL and make millions, having just 10 games before his dreams turned into reality. He went for a routine tackle and ended up leaving that field in a stretcher. Later waking up with his entire right arm and hand paralyzed for life, he still stands strong and successful and says, I believe everything happens for a reason. People change so you can learn to let go. Things go wrong so we can learn to appreciate things when they're right. 
And sometimes good things fall apart so better things can fall together. Class of 2023, from basketball games to dances and pep rallies, the end of our high school career has arrived. However, the legacy you leave behind with your family, friends, and strangers carry over. As we end this action-packed chapter, chapter lives, with our, we step with our best, best foot forward into a world full of opportunity and adversity. It's about you reflecting and becoming the person you aspire to be, fighting through the bumps in the road. Bet on yourself. Believe in yourself. Be grateful for what you have today, not what you want tomorrow. Lastly, create the life you've always dreamed of. Before I step away from the mic, I need to thank my family, friends, coaches, and teachers who've assisted me every step of the way to stand here tonight. Special thanks to Mr. Thompson and Mr. Smith, who affected my life here at CFHS tremendously. To my people, Fisher, C. Ray, Triple G, Spot, LG, Troy Boy, and my council, words can't explain my love for you guys. It's been an honor to serve as your president for the last four years, and I wish you all nothing but the best in your journey stepping away from Catalina Foothills High School. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is John Urcannon. It's been a great night thus far, here with family, friends, people we love, and teachers. <laughs> Take, cherish, but do not dwell on your time here. Because although it may be coming to an end, if you flip that page, it will not be the end of the book. You'll see a new chapter. In fact, that book is just beginning. From nap time to a recess to a 30-minute lunch, all the best things in our lives seem to find a way out. Don't be sad, though. Be happy that it happened. High school, what a time. Middle school teachers swore that many things would not slide there. They do, in fact, slide. They have to. <laughs> it is your first taste of the real world, some sense of independence and freedom. You're figuring out what truly happens in the big picture. What will you do? What is your life going to look like? Your mind is so overwhelmed that you begin thinking about simpler times. So, I present to you all my best principles that I have learned during my time here. Before we start, I want you to set aside any preconceived notions you may have of me. Take my words for what they are, just words. What we did in those four houses, the A building, the B building, the media room, and in the gym is preparation. Tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. The real world is coming. It's inevitable. There's only one thing to do. Take it head on, leave no regrets, and most importantly, have fun. Who here has a dream in mind for the future? Raise your hand. That's what I like to see. The first piece of the puzzle is to create the dreams you want. For many of you, that box is checked. Create the time for them, create the skills for them, and create the passion for them. Because without those three things, your dreams are just wants. Make them into reality, walk it like you talk it. For those who get called weird or different or simply think they are such, embrace it. People will drag you down telling you that it is bad and create a false narrative for you to reside on. That uniqueness is unseen and it is powerful. That is what they are so scared of. But again, it is up to you to grasp that power. Your losses are better than your wins. Such a hard concept to understand. But if you really want to be the change that everyone talks about, or get the job that you have always desired, or create the business you dreamt about, Understand the journey. Patience sucks, but it couldn't be more necessary. No matter what, at the end of the day, be you. Because we have one life, and you would be a fool to live it someone else's way. Education is a recipe of succession. As my father has always told me, it is the one thing that nobody can take away from you. A device 
that has been grasped by so many as an opportunity. We live in a big world with vast, unknown, and little known. We are not even ants in comparison to the universe. So even that little we know is too much to comprehend in one human life. No one person can be fully educated. The smartest individuals of all time know that learning daily is the strength of knowledge and what it truly means to be educated. A passport to the future, it is. I hate to be that guy, but unfortunately, your teachers have always been right. They don't give you the grade, you earn the grade. The only thing stopping you from getting an A is yourself. The only thing stopping you from getting your dream job is yourself. The only thing stopping you from getting the thing you desire most in life is yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, if you take away nothing else from this, just remember these two things. Take those chances and take those risks, because they don't come often. And seriously, did anything that was ever dangerous or held consequences ever stop any of you from doing what you wanted? To all the staff, faculty, admin, you are all wonderful, and I thank you all. Smith, Bashard, Reinhardt, Yantis, Lindsay, Bazzotti, Sharma, Zenner, Mers, Gordon, Somoza, Byrode, Robertson, Crawford, Mazumdar, Kelly, Winters, Burson, Olmsted, Cook, Thompson, Perez, and even you, Mr. God Bless America. Thank you for putting up with me. To my family, thank you for everything and so much more. Without you all, I would be incomplete. To my boys, love you guys. Keep doing stupid stuff. As a wise man once said, curiosity doesn't keep a schedule. Keep inquiring and dreaming. Thank you, and have a great night, everyone. Dear class of 2023, we made it. 720 days, give or take. Some of us by a long shot, and some just barely. I can't speak for everyone, but I can speak on behalf of myself. So today I read to you my love letter to 23. Today we say goodbye. Goodbye to our teachers, our school peers, the stairs of B building, our security guards and house secretaries, bus drivers, and so much more. Today I say goodbye, not just to Foothills, but to Manzanita Elementary and Orange Grove Middle School. Goodbye CFSD 16. Goodbye to the ones who taught me to read and write and the ones who let me sit alone in a classroom to cry. But as I say goodbye, all of us say hello. Hello to the military, to college, and to the world. To everyone else, we're supposed to be adults now, only that is not realistic. We have everything left to learn. But here we are getting ready to let go. We've been through a lot of hardships and now we sit here together as a family. I can confidently say that despite conflicts, I have found people who are there for me no matter what, and I'm forever grateful. There's too many memories to recall, but I truly love you all. My friends and I have been talking about how crazy it is to recall our original plans and see how much we've changed. Freshman me planned on transferring to CDO by junior year, and sophomore me was going to graduate a year early. I don't know what I was thinking, but thank God it didn't happen that way. All four years were worth it for this very moment. The thing is, time works in such a weird way. If you focus on it, your internal clock counts double, but when you're busy, it forgets to count at all. So today, I hope you all take in every moment because this kind of thing only happens once. I think that's why I spent so much time behind a camera. I wanted to capture the moments that everyone else was too busy to remember. For those of you who don't know, I began taking photos at the beginning of junior year where I showcased sports in our student body. I wanted people to have photos of themselves that they could have access to and were able to look back on. Though this is my formal retirement from photographing falcons, I'm just as excited to watch all of you and see what you become. I hope everyone here finds a way in life to make themselves proud, be proud of the person you are and who you are becoming. There's two sayings I live by. They may be simple and even cliche, but they're true. The first one is YOLO. If you've missed the YOLO epidemic, it stands for you only live once. 
don't quote me on this because it came from Wikipedia, but it was introduced in 2012 as the newest acronym you'll love to hate and was criticized for its use in conjunction with reckless behavior. In truth, yes, I too use it for occasional reckless behavior, but also for things that I'm afraid of. It's the reasoning that I'm always able to get behind. It's what saved me from overthinking, and it's also given me the opportunities to have a lot of fun. The second saying that I keep close to my heart is that everything happens for a reason. I grew up in a household where religion was explained but not expected, and having grown, I'm appreciative of that. However, everyone has their own belief system, and mine is that everything happens for a reason. There's too much going on in our lives to wonder why something turned out the way that it did, not to say that we can't wonder, but to say we should not stress about the things that we cannot control. For the questions we ask and the answers we find, for whatever conclusions we come to, find security by remembering that everything happens for a reason. Remember to be thankful and grateful for what you have, and remember to take the chicken out of the freezer, because whoever it is asked me to do so probably gave you a whole lot more than just a ride to school. Thank you to those who have supported and provided for us, siblings, parents, family members, and guardians. I know I may forget to say it myself, but I love you and appreciate all that you have done and all you continue to do for me. Looking back on the last four years, I can say I wouldn't have been able to do it without you. The final thought that I would like to leave with you is from a poem that my friend came across. I hope it resonates with the rest of you as much as it did with the two of us. As we gather here for the last time, we look back on the memories we've made and the lessons we've learned along the way. From the first day of school to this final goodbye, we've grown and changed with the guidance of teachers who've shown us the way and the support of classmates who've brightened each day. We've laughed and we cried, we've challenged ourselves in so many ways, and as we step forward into the world outside, we'll carry with us the memories we've made. So here's to the teachers who've inspired us all and to the classmates who've been there through it all. We'll never forget the moments we've shared and the friendships we've made. As we say goodbye and go our separate ways, we'll hold on to the memories of these special days and we'll always remember the lessons we've learned as we take on the world our futures unheard. To the class of 2023, I'm proud of us. Love, Allie Wilt.
Thank you very much to our uh, Catalina Foothills Choir and band. What a beautiful performance tonight. Congratulations again to the class of 2023 on your ability and drive to finish your studies and successfully earn your high school diploma. Your hard work and determination are impressive and your impact on the school and the community will be remembered. Well done. You have displayed great dedication, perseverance, and hard work over the past four years. You have excelled in every arena, and we couldn't be prouder of you and your accomplishments. Today, 431 of you have earned the right to call yourself graduates of Catalina Foothills. Each of you have earned the required 24 credits and have taken countless exams and passed your classes. You should be very proud of your success, as I know we all are. To all the parents and family members and viewers at home, I would like to take this moment to highlight the remarkable achievements of the graduating class. First, it's important to note that we have four seniors who will be joining the mil uh, military branch and serving our country after graduation. <laughs> Athletically, our Falcons have earned many regional titles, player of the years, and were contenders for state championships. A senior won an individual boys Arizona state championship in tennis two years in a row. The boys and girls the boys and girls tennis teams both won state champions this year, and we had an individual girls state runner-up in tennis. We have one senior who won a boys state championship in both cross country and track and field, and was honored as the Gatorade Player of the Year. We have a senior girl who won the state championship or semifinalist in state um, in track and field. We had boys baseball who were the state runner-ups in baseball. We have 20 senior athletes, 20 senior athletes who've signed national letters of intent to play at the college level. Congratulations to all of our athletes. We have a senior who was selected as a first robotics dean's list finalist. Three senior members made all-state band and two of them placed three years in a row. One senior was named to the all-state jazz band and a featured soloist in the Tucson Jazz Institute Ellington Big Band. 70 seniors marched in the 2023 Rose Parade. Three seniors, yes, congratulations. <laughs> Three seniors placed in All-State Honors Choir. 17 seniors sang at Carnegie Hall this spring. Seven, seven seniors took home superior ratings for acting at the Southern Arizona Festival of Theater. Four seniors were eligible for the AP Capstone Diploma. Three seniors are heading to the Future Business Leader Digital Video Production International Competition this summer. One student won first place in Southern Arizona Theater Festival. One senior won first place in the area Arizona Thespian Festival. These students you see tonight have been offered over $14 million in merit scholarship awards. Well done. Two seniors were U of A Keep Engaging Youth in Science, or the Keys Reach Research Interns. In the class are six merit semifinalists, um, one national merit semifinalist, two national merit commended students, and seven national merit recognized students. 45 seniors earned the seal of biliteracy, with three of those students earned seals in two languages. In our second year to offer the seals of Arizona arts proficiency, we have three students have earned that seal. We have six students in the class who have um, completed the 
AP capstone requirements. The class of 2023 has received acceptance to attend over 80 colleges and universities across the country. Schools range from Pima to Tuscany to Michigan, Michigan State to Stanford. Many of our seniors are matriculating to U of A, ASU, GCU, and NAU. About 60% will stay in state. But other students will be studying around the country as they attend colleges in Alabama, Utah, Idaho, New Mexico, Colorado, Col California, Mississippi, Tennessee, Texas, New York, Oregon, Washington, Kansas, Nebraska, Indiana, Virginia, Delaware, Massachusetts, New York, Florida, and Hawaii. One, <laughs> one student will be attending uh, university in Brit British Columbia and another in Vienna, Austria. Nice job. Other graduates' um, plans include taking a gap year or entering the workforce. Again, I'd like to express my heartfelt appreciation to the exceptional teachers and support staff that have devoted themselves to educating and guiding our graduates. I also extend my gratitude to the parents and volunteers who contribute and have helped establish our school as a vibrant high school and a welcoming community. Your hard work and dedication are greatly appreciated, and we thank you all. Congratulations, graduates. You have been equipped with the skills and the knowledge to exceed in any path you choose. The future is bright, and the world is counting on you to make a difference. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Dr. Camerzel, I proudly present the class of 2023 for your acceptance. Catalina Foothills High School class of 2023, it is with great pride in your achievements that I accept Principal Brazi's recommendation. With the authority vested in me by the Catalina Foothills School District Governing Board, I extend to you now all the rights and responsibilities of graduation. Vice President Krauss and other members of the Governing Board, I present to you now our graduates, the class of 2023. Laura Walton. Rowan Abdo, Umar Abdul Kadir, Jacqueline Acido, Joao Asioli, Emma Adams, Matthew Adams, Subigia Uthakari, Giovanni Aguirre, Stacia Albanese, 
Cassidy Albright. Marissa Aldana. Joshua Alexander. Mohamed Aljasem. Vivian Allen. Mariam Azalam. Delphin Aponte. Julio Aranguin Garcia. Nyla Armand. Tanner Aros. Ali Ariola. Brandon Azarte. Isai Avilas. Alan Ayala. Francisco Ayala Perez. Jack Bader. Eden Bay. Grayson Bowling. Jenna Baker. Liv Bankhead. Sarnad Bazahar. Paige Beadle. Riley Becker Kopke. Ethan Bell. Olivia Bell. Jens Benedict. Zoe Bennett. Peyton Bergen. Cade Bergthold. David Burke. Bodie Bernal. Jason Bjornholm. Kyle Boson. Crystal Bookbinder. Honey Bourbon. John Bourne. Sage Bowen. Jack Boylan. Fatih Bazdogan. Gian Brock. Jasmine Brandhuber. Ella Brown Melder. Charlotte Brewer. Katie Burns. Uriah Burrell. Armando Barola. Lex Berry. Gabriella Byrne. Kyle Cagno. Juliana Camacho. Eugenio Cambustan. Langston Campbell. Alyssa Campos. Braden Cantor Goldner. Allison Carr. Ella Cartwright. Beverly Castle. Paloma Casares Martinez. Charlie Cecil. Mia Sazarek. Spencer Chan. Adam Chapman. Sharia Chauhan. Leah Chavez Hernandez. Ethan Chaika. Sophia Cho. Joseph Cristiano. JT Clancy. Riley Clark. Samuel Clark. Ashton Klingen. Grant Cohen. Jojo Collins. Kiana Callimore. Megan Connolly. 
Amaya Copeland. Jesus Coronado. Paulina Cota Angulo. Nina Cox. Ben Krill. Anna Crossett. Jack Curtin. Malcolm Cuthbertson. Serena Catuli. Samuel Danes. Emma Danforth. Anna Davis. Felita De Andrade. Ella Dean. Tristan DeClerc. Tyler DeConcini. Anthony Deeb. Hunter DeLauer. Franklin DeLong. Tierra DeMont. Henry Dennis. Anthony Diaz. Andrew Din. Harrison Dodge. Logan Douglas. Travis Stover. Benny Duason. London Dijak. Gabriel Ellington. Bailey Epstein. Miguel Escobedo. Michelle Eslava. Abraham Espinoza. David Espinoza. Emilio Espinoza. Jack Evans. Kylie Fay. Ava Feldman. Kamaya Feng. Olivia Farrell. Jace Fields. Jake Fields. Riley Fields. Shiloh Fields. Rebecca Fisher. Garrett Fitzgerald. Sequoia Fitzsimmons. Cooper Flanagan. Jason Fleming. Daniela Floto. Rowdy Fordney. Sebastian Fauché. Brandon Franz. Presley French. Josie Fritsch. Mason Friedenlund. Anna Gallardo. Zach Gavin. Alyssa Gilbert. Sophia Gilbert. Ava Gill. Kaylin Givens. Zena Glinski. Tuco Goys. Chloe Gonzalez. Samantha Gottlieb. Matthew Greener. Ivan Grijalva. Kiana Guillen. Dylan Hale. Peyton Hall. Sasha Hall Johnson. Carter Hammer. Joseph Hahn. Ethan Hunt. Danielle Hanks. Marissa Harned. 
Aiden Hartman. Anna Hobner. Scarlett Henderson. Macy Hernandez. McCoy Hernandez. Ryan Hernandez. Brendan Herrera. Kelson Hill Cristo. Morgan Hinkle. Aiden Hodges. Nicholas Hollister. Jerry Holzman. Kalia Hoos. Miku Hori. Ava Horn. Samantha Hornfeck. Jillian Howiak. Diego Jaquez. Caden Jaramillo. Ian Jean. Max Jeffrey. Beatrice Johnson. Quinn Johnson. Tatum Johnston. Adam Jones. Alyssa Jones. Jackson Jones. Lauren Jones. Ryan Jones, Zuri Jover, Jasmine Junker, Jade Kabat, Eli Kahana, Ronick Callan, Ben Cantor, Eamon Katiba, Luke Coffer, Lincoln K, Charles Keebles, Tyler Kibo, Sean Keefe, Jackson Kime, Audrey Kelly, Declan Kelly, Lucas Kelly, Madeline Camille, Caroline Kennerson, Molly Cattell, Zia Keys, Derek Kim, Hannah Kim. Kaden Kierkoff. Sean Knight. Iris Knox. Alexandria Kosis. Kaden Coulter. Maxwell Contact. Lindsey Kremkowski. Peter Cruz. Paige Kuzma Schmidt. Andre Lampkins. Nicole Lane. Lawson Langmach. Aiden Larson. Miles Lawrence. Carlos Lazo. Ava Leon. Sophia Luthold, Samantha Lim, Christiana Linkowski, Sarah Lindener, 
Dylan Lasanti. Cadence Littlehorn. Ryan Longenecker. Grant Luce. Alexia Lopez. Gabriela Lopez. Rachel Lowenthal. Juliana Lujan. Annie Luo. Creo Maloney. Christian Marin. Maya Martin. Brandon Marks. Hadley Masterson. Adrian Matskin. Taylor McHugh. Abby McDowell. Joseph McGuckin. Jack McNeilis. Noe Medina Rivera. Eric Melda. Ryan Mena. Esta Mendez Jimenez. Olivia Mercea. Abby Metzger. Brendan Miller. Jessica Milliken. Jaden Mitchell. Ellie Moffitt. Maya Moffitt. Ronan Montgomery. Monica Montoya Gahiola. Jackson Moore. Brandon Morales Cologne. Juan Morales Sanchez. Alessandra Moreno. Andres Moreno. Clifford Moten. Abigail Mulick. Michelle Molnix. Isabella Monroe. Renee Navarro. Chloe Nelson. Jake Nen. Andrew Nesnadny. Diego Nolasco Garcia. Anna Isabella Noriega Ozuna. Garrett Norman. Presley Norman. Xavier Norwood Ramirez. Allison Onstad. Jessica Olson. David Ortiz Monasterio. Anna Paez. Chloe Palmer. Dominic Parks. McKenna Pastorius. Dev Patel. Rohan Patel. Ivanova Pavlovich. Ella Pemberton. Dylan Peng. Rodrigo Perez. Jared Perry. Bia Peterson. Aiden Peterson. Andrea Piedraida. Jordan Pearson. Cole Pinckney. 
Quinn Pinckney. Hallie Pence Sutterfield. Chauncey Plant. Thomas Plunkett. Sophia Polhuber. Camilla Pondeca. Chloe Poor. Kenzo Pretzinger. Dominic Price. Julia Putnam. Caroline Pyle. Charlotte Rains. Nevaya Rainey. Evan Razumov. Ava Reedy. Savannah Repture. Cole Revis. Alex Rue. Sebastian Rue. Nicole Richards. Natalie Richardson. Camilla Ritz. Diego Rebels. Musa Rizik. Tabitha Roberts. Hema Rocha. Jose Rodriguez. Abby Rosanio. Ty Rose. Caroline Rosen. Sophia Rosenberg. James Radebush. J.D. Rowley. Nicholas Rubin. Samantha Russell. Alexis Safer. Hiba Salim. Griffin Salkowski. Jameson Salkowski. Eli Zaltz. Skylar Samuels. Nelumi Sanchez Zamudio. Lael Sanders. Troy Sanders. Jack Henry Saunders. James Saylor. Spencer Schiller. Ian Schmolzer. Jonathan Schwab. Stuart Schwartz. Henry Seckler. Ian Servideo. Darlene Schaffer. Suraj Shah. John Eric Shelby. Zachary Shi. Grace Shoemaker. Biana Siddons Villalobos. Ethan Siegerman. Anna Seilinker. Ethan Sylvan. Riley Sylvan. Daniela Simanskaito. Emily Sizemore. Lauren Sizemore. Ethan Skillings. Micah Smith. Tyler Smith. Angelina Snodgrass. Emily Song. Andrea Soroa. Madeline Sparrow. Sarah Stage. 
Mia Sternberg. Clayton Stockton. Madeline Stoner. Anya Stutz. Jessica Stutz. Connor Story. Nia Stratagulius. Kenny Strong. William Struby. Zach Strout. Troy Solger. Zachary Sump. Malika Sunder. Daniel Sutherland. Iman Tamimi. Hope Tanksley. Charlotte Teeple. Tyler Tellum. Max Tenery. Mia Tenery. Dylan Thomas. Logan Thomason. Matthew Thornhill. Peter Todd. R.C. Troike. Anayo Chuku Edwin Uche. Carlos Urtaza. Alexis Valencia. Martha Vasquez. Brian Velasquez Lino. Jacob Baranez Ledford. Theo Vercosa Coelho. Sebastian Viguerez. Brody Warwick. Chloe Watts, Nathan Webb, Cal Weeks, Tristan West, Miles Westmoreland, Megan White, Ian Weiss, Terania Williams, Cole Wilson, Allison Wilt, Maya Winton, Tia Wood, Nico Woodward, Ariel Worden, Ronald Worthy, Lane Yeager, Chanu Yoon, Griffin Weibar, John Yurkanen, Diana Zarif, Zeke Zabala. Let's do this. Class of 2023, the turning of the tassel represents closure, but also represents a new beginning. It symbolizes all the sacrifice and hard work, as well as the relationships we've built over the past four years. 
as we shift gears and move into the best times of our lives, one door closes and 10 more open. Pursue your dreams and make the most of what you have. I wish you all the best of luck in creating your legacy. And now will my fellow seniors please stand. In turning your tassel, no, I'll let keep going. In turning your tassel, you're not only recognizing all of your academic and personal achievements throughout these past four years, you are, more importantly, acknowledging the person you're stepping away from this campus as. All right, let's do this. On the count of three, please join me in turning your tassel from right to left. One, two, three. Congratulations, class of 2023. Uga Bombo!